What's going on boys and girls? What's up world? Austin John Place here and welcome back to Link's Awakening part number 10. We just finished the Angler's Tunnel and we have a lot of stuff to do and we're gonna get a new friend. Very exciting. Before anything, the most important thing we have to do is go inside of this tunnel right here. And this is gonna do two things. One of them is cool, the other is amazing. Let's talk to this fish. His name is Mambo and I, yes, I have an ocarina. Then he can teach us a song. I didn't say it was a good song. The sound reminds me of the, um... What's... When that child owns the store in Twilight Princess. Can we, uh, can we play the background music of that? During the this next little bit right here? Just so people can hear that. Great, so now that we have this brand new song, we can fast travel anytime that we want. To... Or, well, anytime that we have the items appearing. We just play the song. And then without being at a warp point, we can go to any of the warp points. Also, he unlocked this warp point at this pond next to uh, Crazy Tracy. But great, while we're here, let's go to the right. And over here, there is a hole in the wall that we need to go in. And there's a piece of heart. Sweet dude. Now you can actually fall down into this cave and then you'll see it, but I like to just grab it right now. You would fall down much later in the game, for the record. We still haven't even left the water yet, and there's still more things that we have to do. So, from the Angler's Tunnel, back to the left. We're going to be swimming in this river. It's going to bring us down to the castle. And we're also going to be getting a new friend as soon as we come out of here. And dive down right underneath this waterfall for a secret seashell. This is one is super duper hidden. Any second now. There it is. That's, that's a pink ghost. And that pink ghost wants us to help it. We're gonna keep heading south, cut right, and we're gonna grab this piece of heart next to the castle. Next, we're gonna fast travel to the seashell mansion. Remember that one piece of grass that we cut for that underwater path with that piece of heart that was hidden underwater? Well, we're gonna come back and we're gonna grab that one piece of heart that was underwater. Sweet, dude. Fast travel back to the prairie and to the north, right by where the uh, the honeycomb trade sequence was. We're going to, oh, watch out for him. Oh, I guess we could have gotten this before. I just forgot about it. Head down here, break this bad boy. Now we can push him out of the way. And inside of here is a rupee. But the real treasure is friendship and a piece of heart right there. Sweet dude. Here inside of Mave Village, let's head down to the trendy game because it's time to get our statue of the of the video. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> and our, our seashell sensor went off because there's the seashell. But there's also a cheap cheap, so let's go up and to the right. And I think it's funny because we just encountered our first cheap cheap and we get a statue of it, which is pretty neat. It's very small, especially compared to like Boo's statue. But it still doesn't co go out of the, the grabber, which is nice. Let's grab the seashell. Again, wait till it touches the right. Great, tap A. Hopefully this goes smoother than the last time. It shouldn't, because it doesn't go to the left. We should be fine. Yeah, we're fine. I don't think I need to say grab the purple ruby, but duh. And I think I may have missed a seashell down here at the shore, right next to where the tail cave is, our first dungeon. Yeah, missed this one. Great. Next, make our way back to here. Back to this one spot that we keep going back to. That's gonna bring us out here. And instead of heading this way, that we gave the pineapple to the guy, we're gonna keep going in the same direction that we jumped down into the fish mouth. And now that we can dive, we're gonna do that right here. Now we can also climb up this ladder. We're gonna head up here and we are going to grab a bomb and we're gonna throw it into this hole down here. Oh, the ghost just said, the house, take me, the house at the bay. 
This is the first time that the ghost spoke to me. Maybe because I went to a house, but it's not the right house. This is the rooster house, where there's a guy here and roosters. That's Luigi. I don't care what you say, that's bootleg Luigi. First, we're going to go over to the right-hand side. And... Secret Seashell. We pass by this entrance right here because that's the key to the Seventh Temple and we cannot get it yet because, well, frankly, we have the wrong escort. Now we're going to backtrack just a little bit to back where that secret seashell was underneath that waterfall and we ignored this entranceway, which we can now enter. I mean, we could enter it before, just we didn't. Blow that up. Go up the stairs. You may think this room is a whole bunch of treasure, but every single one of these is just filled with the slime, so don't open any of them. But this treasure is actually treasure. It's a seashell. Sweet, dude. Now let's actually help out this ghost who wants our help. We're going to go to Martha's Bay. The ghost just kind of manifests in. And this is the ghost house. Here, enter my house. Did the ghost have a name? I'm gonna call you... Slurpluff. Take your time. Oh, it looks so sad. Boo! Hoo! Are you scaring me or crying? Enough. Cemetery. Take me. My grave. From here, we're gonna go to Mambo's Pond. That is the pond that we just unlocked by talking to the big fish who gave us the fast travel song. And I think this might be the only time it's convenient to fast travel here instead of either the prairie or Dompe's shack. And see that one grave there all by itself? That's where it wants to go. Ah, oh, it's happy now. Thank you. A jar for you. Put something inside. Bye bye. Sweet dude, this is our second fairy bottle. Also a fun thing, you could take your magic powder. Cough, cough. Don't sprinkle that on me. I'll have to curse you, cough, cough. <laughs> There's one secret seashell that I overlooked that you may have accidentally grabbed. Well, well, not accidentally, but grabbed without me. It's right here. Which like, we've been here so many times. I just haven't gone down right here yet. Here at Martha's Bay, there is another secret seashell that we can grab super duper easily. Watch out for that Zora, which for some reason Zoras in this game are evil. Secret seashell. Fantastic. Next, right from where we were and kind of where the teleporter is right there, we're going to head up and down into this big old pond over here. Our first stop is straight down to the corner. And there's a piece of heart tucked right here. And we're gonna find ourselves a mermaid. Hey there. When I was swimming in the bay, the waves took a very important necklace from around my neck. If you find it, I'll give you a scale. Sweet, dude. So, right from where the mermaid is, we're gonna go a very short distance away to underneath this bridge. Here we will find a fisherman. And he wants the fishing hook that we have. It's part of the trading sequence. He looks exactly like the other fisherman. Maybe it's the same guy. I don't know. Hey, it's the necklace. Sweet. So from here, we're going to go talk to the mermaid. And oh, he, for the record, he's grabbing one of her scales right now. Promise you'll only take one. Fun fact, in the original Japanese version, you didn't see any of her body from the weight from the neck down because she lost her top and you had to get that. And that was obviously censored in the American version for obvious reasons. Because... Imagine Ariel without her without her little seashells there. Now, the neat part is, is... See that giant fish head? That's, that's where we have to go. There's no key or anything else in order to activate that. You just had to have been in Martha's Bay before, and we totally have. So, real quick, before we progress to the dungeon that we're going to be taking on, which is actually not in Martha's Bay, we're going to be going to the color dungeon. It's worth mentioning now that the color dungeon could have been done before this, 
Actually, right before the last dungeon that we went in, it was able to be done. And I didn't realize that. This is how you unlock the color dungeon. You need to move those four tombstones in the exact order that I just showed you, and then the fifth one up. And then down here is the color dungeon. You need to make sure that you have magic powder, and that's the only requirement. Guys, we are gonna be wrapping up the video here. If you haven't done so, be sure to hit the like button. It really helps out on the channel. We're gonna be tackling this bad boy, and if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe, turn on notifications. Over there, we have the next episode. Over there, we have the playlist, and something else is over there. Till next time, Austin John out.